A parent who attended yesterday's graduation at Quincy High School has tested positive for COVID-19. The school emailed parents with that news this morning, and as you might imagine, it's causing some concern. We get the story now from WBZ's Tiffany Chan. Hundreds of graduating seniors and their families were here at Veterans Memorial Stadium in Quincy celebrating this milestone, only to learn that a parent among them has since tested positive for the coronavirus. A joyous celebration now has some attendees questioning whether they were exposed to COVID-19. After a parent who attended the Quincy High School graduation ceremony Saturday tested positive for the deadly virus. Nobody intends to go anywhere so that they can transmit a virus, but you know, at the same time, I don't think any of this is wise right now. One Quincy man says, symptomatic or not, he doesn't believe a large gathering like that is a good idea during a pandemic. It's a uh, sentimental, wonderful thing to think, okay, this is an event that your, ch you know, that your children have basically achieved something wonderful, but it's not worth the risk of um, putting people in a place where they can all get sick. Precautions were in place at the Veterans Memorial Stadium Saturday. Chairs were spaced six feet apart, families were seated together, and people were told to wear face masks. Quincy Public School Superintendent Kevin Mulvey sending a note to parents saying, because of these precautions, there is a low risk of transmission to the majority of those attending the ceremony yesterday. Please be advised that contact tracing has been completed by the City of Quincy Health Department, and those potentially affected have been notified. Others say the risk is still there and they're not taking any chances getting sick. Until they have a vaccine for this, any kind of large gathering of this nature without any kind of uh, supportive medication mm. is a risk that no one should take. The city is also asking anyone who was helping with the medical emergency here at that stadium Saturday morning to contact the Quincy Health Department. From Quincy, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.